Yes! Welcome back to Team Woolly Sheep. I fancied, I fancied getting a plane, but I just got no room. Let me show you. But I fancied a wing. I like the, I like the little wings. You got your backpack, check your backpack on, and you're thinking, do I carry a plane or whatever? It's, gr it's great to just check a little wing on. I've had this little bonsai wing, which I take, and it's, it's okay, but it's a bit, Anyway, it, it, it works, it's a bit of fun, but you get what you pay for. Anyway, then I saw this, and I be fancying it, they're a little bit pricey, but they come down in price. So this is a pure-blooded racing FPV wing, as they call it. Tough, durable, crash-resistant EPP airframe. They are pretty good. This is obviously the black foam, and it's rock solid. And this kit, I bought the kit no, I bought the plug and play version because it was on offer. I think I paid about £38 for it. But as you can see, it's got the ESCs, it's got the motor attached, it's got the servos in. Obviously, I've, I have to set it up uh, myself. But it's it's got the camera mount on the front and this magnet. So it's, you know, it's pretty versatile. But you've got a big battery bay. But these are well finished. They're really nice. They've got carbon. You can see carbon fiber, the wings are rigid. It's it's like a proper plane instead of a instead of a bit of hot wire cut foam. You, you, you know. So as you can see it, it goes together, looks nice. This is quite small. As you can see, it's not very big, but it is such a nice plane. And I'm glad I've got it. So I'm gonna set it up, I'm gonna I'm gonna build it, I'm gonna make it FPV. And obviously I'm going to test fly it first. I always test fly line of sight. And so if you're if you've been flying drones, quadcopters, and you're not so clever at flying line of sight, flying a plane, you might want to get something like this that's pretty bomb proof, or or even the bonsai, because you can fly this yourself and get used to the controls and how erratic they can be. Another thing I do is if you're in the countryside, go somewhere where there's bushes or somewhere. So if you if it goes wrong when you throw it up in the air, the long grass or the reeds where it'll come down and crash and won't be a problem, it'll just bounce. But if it comes down hard on the hard ground, then it's gonna break things. So so whenever you're flying it for the first time, find some, some like a soft landing area for it throw it up try to control it and if it does crash then at least you you haven't got a broken plane to fix i'm telling most of you to suck eggs if you want one go get one this is from banggood and it's made by sonic models and this is the mini ar wing and it's gonna be awesome this is gonna be my weaving in and out of bushes and trees oh. when i go flying sometimes you know I mean the drones are good oh look at this say hello to Frank seven inch that's coming soon all I gotta do is put it together it's already got servos in there so it's literally glue the wings on right I mean looking at the model and everything's glued together they didn't supply any glue so I got you who pour. So if you do anything with foam, you who pour. Watch out! This standard you who. This is you who pour. This is foam safe. It's technically a contact adhesive. You can use it as a direct adhesive and let it go off, but it's better as a contact adhesive. Adhesive because these are molded. They have like a. Um, I must be there's some sort of silicone release agent which sometimes stops the glue from sticking so good so what i always do is get a little sanding pad and just key off key off the surface and get rid of any you know just mat it up a little bit so when you put the glue on the glue is sticking to the foam and not any silicone releasing agents so key it up and obviously both surfaces 
and there it is I've got LEDs on the back so the uh, red LEDs so and I've done something a little bit different I put the receiver in the center and the receivers mounted on a little uh, mount the idea of the mount is that if I want to go with a flight controller in the future I can put the receiver on the underside and the flight controller can go on that position there so I put some little standoffs in there ready the VTX is a TBS Infinity Pro so I'll have the ability to go 25 or 200 milliwatts of power out and the ESC is tucked in in the back under there now I have done something I've been a bit naughty as you can see they've got the antennas coming out I always tend to go with a 45 degree because as you're turning there's always one antenna is is vertical and one is horizontal so I do try to do it it's not very often you fly flat but if you fly flat fine kept it simple I've got a little run cam in the front and it's I can unplug it it's detachable but I wasn't being naughty this is a 1806 a 2400 kV motor now historically I've had a few issues some of these motors yeah they're right they make a lot of noise but they ain't got a lot of power so I've balanced this out and I've added a 10 gram weight at the back there but that gives me perfect center of gravity however my intentions is, is to put a beefier motor on the back of there and it just so happens I've got a 2205 or 2206 red bottom motor that would kind of look much better on there so I, I'm gonna test it out with this first and then I'm gonna run with it so all I have to do now is get the stickers on it and bling it up I know it come with some traditional colors but I want to be able to see it I won't have much time it's a very small wing it's gonna go out to range very quickly so if I am throwing about line of sight I want to be able to know which way up it is <laughs> look, at, look at the size in it it is nothing to it this is this thing is is small and that can go on the back of my rucksack I can have a bit of fun with this really pleased with this so gotta keep going Ooh. Ooh. not bad if I say so myself that's pretty cool let me show you the lights so like when you see it going up like that with the two so yeah I'm really pleased and you're gonna say oh where'd you get that where'd you get that tape from John where'd you get it from I've just got some press and green cut them into squares I just very carefully stuck them on so it's nothing nothing special but oh doesn't it look nice fair play I'm really pleased with that that's me it's not all about building them it's about how you finish them off and design them this is gonna fly it's gonna be a handful it need a bit of teaming and be good am I gonna put flight controllers on it no no this is gonna be on the backpack fly it goggles on have a bit of fun dodging around no okay care in the world cheap as chips if I break it I'll glue it back together and keep going I'm gonna run with the 4s batteries that I use for my quadcopters so that'll be a 1300 maybe a 1500 it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a, a handful but it's part of the fun so I'm, I'm quite pleased with that but uh, I do like it I put a bit of green flash on the front and the reason I do that is like I've been encouraging you to fly line of sight but if you are flying in line of sight and it's all black that will disappear it's really small you ain't got much presence and your brain will will lose it in, in the you know if there's a tree in the background so sometimes that little bit of green flash keeps it locked on your eyes locked on to it no problem you can glide in bring it down but there's nothing worse than you're coming down and then you lose lose sight of it and then something this small will be bumped straight in the ground and then you've got to go off looking for it this is perfect for me to stick on my rucksack 
and just be just use and abuse it and you know but kind of looks cool gotta make it look cool and i'm really really pleased and as you can see be making use of my my cutter my cricket cricket or whatever the hell is called my explore air 2 so i can cut out my own stickers the batteries you got are what you should balance it to so it's no good setting it up as per the manual and finding you haven't got any of those batteries so i've got 1300 4s it says a thousand for us but i'm gonna put 1300 for us and it's balanced out for 1300 for us so i won't have any problems i'll use my my batteries from my drone so that's probably the best way to go use what you got if it ever stops raining and we ever get out of lockdown i'll go and take it up and give it a fly but the ideal size to go on my backpack for when i walk down to the flying side so all i gotta do is fly it so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That's my um, that's my Sonic Models Mini AR Wing, and like I said, no flight controller. I'm just gonna go go naked. It's gonna have a camera, FPV, just fly it, have fun. So we got a few bushes and trees that I can skirt around. So I'm gonna have a bit of fun with it. It's gonna be, a little, but it's gonna be fast. It's gonna be absolutely fast. So so really pleased with that. Can't wait. So, thank you for watching, Tee Woolly Sheep. More coming soon. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, have a go. See you soon. Bye. Oh, and before I go, have you seen the FR Sky or Free Sky? The new X20 transmitter. Oh. Yep. You wait and see that thing coming out. Never mind your radio masters and jumpers. Wait until you see. The Free Sky X20. Get on to Google, have a look at it. I'm going to be getting one and I'll be reviewing it soon. See you soon. Bye.